good things will still happen to you. The word of God in Isaiah 3.10 says, Tell the very good people that good things will happen to them. They will enjoy the results of the good things that they have done. Beloved, good things will happen to you because God has promised it. Because God has said it and it will be yours. He says, tell the very good people that good things will happen to them. They will enjoy the results of the good things that they have done. I want to encourage you today. Don't stop being good because good things will also come to you when you are good. God promises it and he brings it to pass. In 1 Chronicles chapter 17, verse 26, the word of God says, And now, Lord, you are God, and you have promised all these good things to your servant. So God always promises good things to those who love him. He makes sure that everything that you desire, every good thing that you would ever want in your life, he will make it available to you. He is the God that gives good things to his children. So God goes beyond promising, but he ensures that he fulfills the promise of his good over your life. And that is why Jeremiah 32 verse 42 then says, So I will bring on them all the good things that I am promising concerning them. God is promising you good things. That good thing you want for your family, God wants it for you too. That good thing you want for your husband, God wants it for him too. That good thing you want for your children, God wants it for them too. That good thing you want for your relations, God wants it for them too. And so he said, he is promising that every good thing he has said concerning you, he will bring them to you. And I want you to realize today that God will bring good things and good things will still happen to you. You may have experienced a lot of bad things happening around your life, but good things will still come. And the good that will come will override all the bad things that have ever happened to you. The good thing that God will do in your life will make you forget all the bad things that has ever happened to you because when god brings just one good thing it is big enough to turn the story around for you even for one minute and this is what i want you to know because it is something he decides to do and he does it graciously so zechariah chapter 8 verse 5 says I have decided at this time to do good things for Jerusalem and for the house of Judah. So stop being afraid. What a word from the Lord. So I have decided at this time to do good things for Jerusalem and for the house of Judah. God is doing a good thing for your house. He will do a good thing for your house and fear will be far away from you. You will no longer be afraid. He is the father that loves to do good things for his children. And if a mortal man will long to do good things for their children, how much more your father in heaven. If a mortal man that may be evil will want to give the best to those around him, will want to give the best to those that he loves how much more your father in heaven if a mother will want to see that good things comes to her children even though she may be evil how much more your father in heaven and the word of god in matthew 7 11 matthew chapter 7 verse 11 says so if you who are evil know how to give good gifts to your children How much more will your Father in heaven give good things to those who keep on asking him? Beloved, it is your right to ask God for good things. Enough 
of the bad things happening around you. Enough of the things that would make you cry. Enough of the things that would make you lament. Enough of the things that would make you bury your head in shame. Enough of the things that will make you mourn. Enough of the things that will make you be in despair. The word of God says, Your Father in heaven, give good things to those who keep on asking Him. So you have every right, child of God, to ask God for the good thing that you so desire in your life. He says, tell the very good people that good things will happen to them. They will enjoy the results of the good things that they have done. It's time for you to start enjoying the result of the good things you have done. You have been nice to people and it seems as if you were not paid back for your good. God is going to pay you. You have been awesome to people around you and out of the good you have done, you received evil back in return. I want you to be at peace because good things will still happen to you. You were out there for people. You did your very best and brought good their way. And that had brought you to a point where you knew that you gave yourself fully. But it brought back evil. The resultant effect came back with evil things. I want you to be rest assured today. That those pains of evil that you were paid with will be gone away from you. Because he said in his word, tell the very good people that good things will happen to them. So all the good you have done didn't go unnoticed. All the good you have done didn't skip the eyes of God. It didn't pass through the sight of God without recognition. So he said you will enjoy the results of the good things that you have done. So good things will come in a way that you will be very satisfied. Oh, the psalmist in Psalm 103 verse 5 says, He keeps satisfying you with good things and He keeps renewing your youth like the eagles. God will satisfy you with good things and it is your right to ask of Him. He says, Your Father in heaven, give good things to those who who keep on asking him so you need to tell God today and say God do a good thing in my life and say God I'm ready to receive your blessings of goodness I'm ready to have you pass in front of me with your goodness that was what God told Moses in Exodus chapter 33 verse 19 and the Lord said I will cause my goodness to pass in front of you I will tell you my name, that I am the Lord. I will be kind to anyone that I choose. I will show my love to anyone that I choose. God is choosing you to be good to you today. And His goodness will pass in front of you. His goodness will satisfy you. And you will enjoy goodness to the full in the mighty name of Jesus. You may be hungry. The word of God has said in Luke 1 53, He filled hungry people with good things. And I want you today to be hungry for good things. I want you today to be thirsty for good things. I want you this very moment to make a decision that your craving for good things will increase. You want to see good for your children, then make that demand to God. He says, your father in heaven will give good things to those who keep asking him. So it is your right to make demand. It is your right to receive the goodness in return that you have sown. The seeds of goodness that you have sown in the past. The seeds of love that you have shown in the past. And he said on this very day to you, I will cause all, all, take note of the word all, So everything good about God that you are yet to receive, you will receive them today. Is it in the area of marriage? You will receive them today. Is it in the area of peace? You will receive them today. Is it in the area of your health? You will receive them today. The Lord said, I will cause all my goodness 
to pass in front of you. And this is your portion. I want you to know that good things will still happen to you. It doesn't matter how many times you may have been fought. It doesn't matter how many times you may have been disputed. Japhet was disputed. But the Lord made sure he increased and he grew. God enlarged him in Genesis chapter 9 verse 27. And so he said, let God make the land of Japheth grow as he promised to him. And let Japheth receive the good things of Shem. The good things of your land is coming to you. The good things of your nation is your portion to receive. And I want you to be ready to bag each and every one of them and take them home. It is not a crime to receive goodness from God and it is your right to receive all of the blessings, all of the goodness, all of the favor that God has to offer you. And you know one thing? The word of God says that Jesus Christ is the high priest of the good things that have come and these good things have come to you. Hebrews 9 verse 11, but when the Messiah came as a high priest of the good things that have come, he went through the greater and more perfect tent that was not made by human hands, and that is not a part of this creation. Beloved, the high priest of good things is in your home today. The high priest of good things is visiting your family today. The Messiah, Jesus Christ. The high priest of good things will knock on your door today and those blessings that is yours will come to you because the high priest of good things have come. So it doesn't matter how many times you may be fought. It doesn't matter how many times they may have sat on your promotion. The high priest of good things will bring them to your way. The high priest of good things will deliver it into your hands. It will deliver them into your doorsteps. In the mighty name of Jesus, the high priest of good things will make available to you all the good that your heart is craving for, all the good that your heart is asking of the Lord. So do not stop asking. While you seek the word of God, in Matthew 9 verse 2, says, And behold, they brought to him a man sick of the past, lying on a bed, and Jesus, seeing their faith, said unto the sick of the palsy. And guess what Jesus said to him? Be of good cheer. Be of good cheer. So are you sick? Good things will happen to you. And that health situation will be turned around. Are you downtrodden? Good things will happen to you. So be of good cheer. Be of good cheer. Because God has everything planned out for your favor you shall dance and you shall testify because the messiah the high priest of good things is visiting your home is visiting your room is visiting your life is visiting your health this very day in the mighty name of jesus be of good cheer be of good cheer good things is happening to you do not stop making requests to him make all things good for me that is your petition to god make all things good for my family that should be your request today make all things good for my children make all things good for their marriage make all things good for my marriage make all things good for my home make all things good for my finances and you will see god making everything good for you god makes all things beautiful and good in his time and your time to receive goodness your time to have the goodness of god pass in front of you have come man may not want you to receive this good but soon they will be left with no choice but to be a part of those being good to you pharaoh didn't want anything good to happen to abraham but he was left with no choice in Genesis 12 verse 16, Pharaoh did good things for Abraham because of Sarah. So it doesn't matter that person who has been fighting you, they will be left with no choice but to do good things to you. Hear the word of the Lord in Romans 8 verse 28. And we know 
that for those who love God, that is for those who are called according to his purpose, all things are working together for good. All things are working together for good. For your life, for your family, for your business, for your relationship, for your spiritual life, for your anointing, for your grace, for everything that you would ever desire. All things will work together for good. Do not stop making requests. Make your request known to him and tell him, Lord, let your goodness pass in front of me today and you will see that good will come your way in quantum leaps. Good will come your way in measures that will be unimaginable to you. And today, you will see the goodness of the Lord pass in front of you. You will hear the knock of the Messiah, the high priest of good things on your door today. In the mighty name of Jesus, all things are working together for your good. And you shall testify of the good things that God has done in your life. In Jesus' mighty name, God bless you. It is well with you. And go on to receive your good things. Shalom.